Welcome to the first edition of the Mr. Sims Math Movie Minute. In this segment, we're going to look at how to multiply a one-digit number times a two, three, or four-digit number. Let's look at this problem. 43 times 5. Our first step is to multiply the five ones times the three ones. 5 times 3 is 15, so we record the 5 ones into the ones column. We then carry the 1 extra 10 into the tens column. Next, we multiply the 5 ones times the 4 tens. Oh yeah, I did it! When we do this, we come up with 20 tens. Next, we add our one extra 10 that we carried over and we come up with a total of 21 tens. 21 tens is the same as two hundreds and one ten. We will put the one ten in the tens column and the two hundreds in the hundreds column. So our final answer is 43 times 5 equals 215. Let's do another one. When dealing with larger numbers, you do the same thing, you just continue to carry over any extra tens or hundreds. For example, let's look at 652 times 7. Oh, uh, that's too hard. To start, multiply your 7 ones times your 2 ones. 7 times 2 equals 14, that's 1, 10, and 4 ones. So now we record the four ones in the ones column, and we carry that one ten over into the tens column. Next, we multiply the seven ones by the five tens. Seven ones times five tens gets you thirty-five tens. Add to that the one ten we carried over for a total of thirty-six tens. With thirty-six tens, we actually have three hundreds and six tens. So we record the six tens into the tens column. I get it! and we carry the three hundreds over into the hundreds column. So now take those seven ones times the six hundreds. Seven ones times six hundreds is forty two hundreds. Add to that the three hundreds we carried over and you have forty five hundreds. Forty five hundreds is the same as four thousands and five hundreds. We record each in the correct column and our final answer becomes 652 times 7 is 4,564. We did it! There you go, dude! Now that you know how to do problems like these, here's a few samples for you to try on your own. See you next time!